This investment update is brought to you by Latrobe Financial. Make your money work harder for you. Hello, I'm Corey Bannister from Latrobe Financial. For many Australians, the first Tuesday in November is synonymous with the race that stops a nation. But was it the race or the rate that stopped a nation this year? 12 months ago, the Reserve Bank cut the official cash rate to a record low 0.1% a setting that the RBA stated would remain in place until inflation was sustainably within its 2-3% to target range, which was not expected to occur until 2024. While some economists had been predicting an earlier move by the RBA, Governor Lowe has remained steadfast in his assessment that it would not occur before then. However, a pivotal moment came when ABS inflation figures for the September quarter showed the strongest annual growth rate in prices in almost six years. Subsequently, when the RBA met next on the first Tuesday in November, the nation did stop and all eyes became fixed on the rate right before the big race took place. The RBA decided to keep rates on hold for now, but it has opened the door for a hike sooner than its repeated 2024 prediction, conceding that inflation had picked up sooner than expected. The fallout has been an increase in the cost of funds on the bond market, which has led to lenders passing on price rises to their customers. The fixed rate market is now also seeing hikes priced in as a result of expected cash rate moves. However, in what is good news for borrowers, variable rates have come down as lenders attempt to address the balance with customers towards a traditionally more popular variable rate option. For those looking to borrow, we'd encourage you to take a closer look at your options. This is Corey Bannister from Latrobe Financial. This investment update is brought to you by Latrobe Financial. Make your money work harder for you.